how's it going? Right, I've been threatening to do a video review on, uh, not sustainers, on extractors and extracting units. It's about half past eight tonight. Na, 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 na. In the house, so apologize um, for the mess and everything, but on to the review. So we have this one. This one right here, this is the uh, Vessel MIDI. It's got the D lock in it. Still use the old fashioned T locks if you really want to. But it's all integrated one to one. And what I like about this one is you've got all your tiny waste storage right there. Oh, it's just falling out. But all the storage, so you've got your hose and your actual uh, wires and everything. It's in there nice and tidy away. And you can also stick your boxes on top of it so it keeps it all fresh, clean, and clear out of the way. Um, you've got also a little brake button here, which sometimes is temperamental. Um, you can get that fixed, but I haven't been bothered to send mine away yet. So I'm do it is here and here, on the sides, on there, on there. And you've got a filter there. I've used this. Oh, dust everywhere. And then you've got the bags just inside here, it kind of lays down. Um, you can get reusable bags, but it's best, I think, to get just get these and uh, throw them away once they're finished with, because sometimes if you like, empty it out and then reuse it, uh, the, the seal around it can split. And there's been times before um, when I've kind of opened it up and to see there's loads and loads of dust and debris everywhere, but yeah, uh, bags are about, I think, about 20 quid or 25 quid, depending where you're getting from. Um, but yeah, that's, that's pretty much about it. Um, downsides, I would have to say, is, uh, it, it's loss of suction once it gets past probably about 50%. I've been noticing whenever I use it uh, with, say, the Deros or something like that, it will, it, uh, it won't fail, but it's not as, good as it what what it should be um so yeah yeah i like it it's cool i usually bring this in you know i wheel this in domestic jobs you know just it looks nice customers go oh what's that and i'm like no this is my extractor didn't you know Wah! and yeah it just looks cool just like riding on in Ugh, get on out of the way now this is a sad day because i'm retiring this today. Whoa, I nearly hit me in the face. This one. This is being retired today. The motor has finally gone. It's, um, I think it was the motor board and I rang Merker up and basically they said to me it was going to be uh, all inclusive, I think £200 to get it fixed. And to be honest, I'd rather get a new unit I think a new one of these is like 268 quid or somewhere on, on the line, I've found them anyway. But it's, um, this, this I would say is more of the workhorse. This is, this is what gets me through like um, empty properties, the hoovering up, the, the dirty work, the, the grub work, the stuff that you, you just don't want to do or make the fest all do. And uh, this will do it all day long, it'll take it, it'll take it, but give me some more. I'll have some of that. Debris, that's mine. So basically, it's an uh, all-in-one extractor. Mm, mm. Yeah, it's apparently as well, it was Neil Fisk, Bosch, uh, America. I think all these units are made in the same factory or they use the same uh, kind of motors. So they're all very similar. I think Flex as well. Um, so basically, you got your little... Uh, Thing well there, your uh, your plug. I couldn't think of the name. Automatic and just normal settings there, so you can have high or low, yada yada. Now this doesn't have a brake, so and it's also a lot taller and cylindrical. Annoying thing about this, what I found is four years you get annoyed because you have to take the hose off, or and sometimes that leaks comes out of there. And you're like, oh man, and then. You, not just that, I have like issues with the wire because I, I, I stick like a, like a, 
uh, an attachment, Hoover attachment in there just so I can like loop the heart or the wires and it's not like causing too much problem down here. But I've had this, I had to have this replaced I think twice and that was just through just usage. Um, and uh, it, it, it was quite annoying because I, I think I had it probably, I don't know, three, four months and then it broke. So I sent it off, I had to wait two weeks. You know, it sucks. My mate lent me his, well, my mate lent me his Bosch for the meantime, but yeah, well, that, that's when I was like first time getting the first free sound and everything, but yeah, as I said, it's a workhorse. It never, never stops, well, until four years later, and it dies. But, two clips there, look, two massive earlobes, and then oh, it lifts up, and you've got the filter underneath there, and this awesome massive space with massive bags. And what I like about these is that um, it's not, they're not laying down, it's, uh, it's all kind of standing up. So I think, I feel like you, you get more in these bags. It's 30 litres. I'm not too sure how much the MIDI is. I should really know. Um, I apologise. I do not know. Maybe someone can put it in a comment. Um, but other than that, this is really light. It's just all the thing in here. Do you want to see? If it, <laughs> I've just got a new one, I'll get that new one in a second. If I can put this back on. Oh my gosh, I'm having so much trouble. There we go. Now, now because I've got a new one, it's sod's law. If I was to get a new one, this one will start working. Let's try that out. Okay, ready. No, brown bread. It's dead. That won't be going to the skip. Right, now this I just got today. So bear with me, bear with me. Oh, all right, mate, calm down, bring it back. Jeez Louise. Yeah, that's right, I've got a new Merca. I um, tracked this, oh, I felt like it, I felt like Indiana Jones. I was tracking this bad boy down. I had to, um, I called up Merca and I kind of asked them, oh yeah, well, when's it gonna come out? I've seen pictures and this, that and the other. And I was quite intrigued to get a new one because the old one broke. And they said, well, if you go to such and such, you can get it. I asked them, they ordered it in, fantastic. Got it a week later. So, what's changed? Other than the size, it's a little bit lower, a little smaller, but wider. With the wheels, these little bad boys have got locks on. And they're just on the front. It would be kind of awkward, because when you roll it forwards, you don't see the locks all the time, whereas you can just kick the lock on to the festival. Um, so, I probably won't use the locks too much, to be honest. Um, what I was really kind of good that Merca didn't really do, they didn't integrate the D-lock system as the festival shows. They didn't integrate it into it. Instead, they decided to have that as an additional option. I know, it sucks. Now I'm gonna have to buy it just so I can stack sustainers on, on top of it. That's, that's what we all do, we just get these things to put sustainers and more sustainers on. This one again is push clean, the, um, the old Merkin 915 is push clean. This one is push clean as well. Um, you have this little extra, which is, it uh, goes onto the side here, you just got unscrewed there. Sorry, my battery is telling me I'm low. You just can't screw this and then put this on there. And then what this does, sorry, I'll get it. That um, holds your pipe so you can have it that way or you can have it holding your wires. But they've added another little feature on the back. They've added a bungee cord. So you can take that down and you can, you know, put the wires nicely here. Boom, boom, which is quite good. They've thought about it because I think they saw, you know, what festival have been churning out. 
and they kind of, you know, brought this to it. But this one's got more suction rate, I do believe, than the 915. So that's why I kind of went for this one. Um, just because it's a newer model, I mean, it, I think it was, I think that's 270 and this was 330, so it's a bit of difference in it. Um, but I haven't tried it yet, but this is, so this is brand spank. Look at that bad boy. Brand spank. It's got a nice big bag in there. I'm not too sure if the old bags fit. I might have to get new bags, which is a bit of a, a bummer, but never mind. And it's a new different type of filter, it's the ones like the uh, the Festivals, so it's kind of like a uh, rectangle. Um, and you can reach it through here, but right now I'm being a bit, I don't know, I don't want to break it. You're supposed to be able to lift this up. You see, like, it kind of gets there. I'm not too sure what I'm doing wrong, but it's not lifting up for me to have a look at the old uh, filter. But, I won't worry about that too much. There's some more like filters on the sides as well here, which I believe you just pop these off. And then you got the filters there that you can just like hoover out and then like put straight back in. And then, oh, it's just on that side, so it's just on one side, so it's not too bad. Um, I'm not too sure what the noise is like on it. I'm, I'm, I'm not too sure my neighbor's gonna love me for doing this, but. Um, I'm gonna do it anyway. Right, okay. Whoa. Whoa. Thanks, mate. Oh, yeah, boy. Oh, yeah, the satisfaction when the old pipe fits onto the new system. This is a uh, YouTube first, so watch out now. This way. It was like a tiny whirlwind. No, I'm kidding. It's actually pretty good. So you got the load right there. Yeah. So it's pretty good. Um, I'll find out like uh, noise levels. I don't know the noise levels off by heart. I know I'm only human. Sorry, guys. But yeah, this is uh, that, that's pretty much it for the review. I suppose if you can't review, I'm gonna say it's not really a review. It's like a, a helper guide. What you need to know if you want to buy an extractor. The gritty facts. Let's call it that. But anyway, thank you for watching.